Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and I'm going to be doing a series of lessons in learning JavaScript with you. In the first lesson we will be learning how to insert JavaScript into our HTML document. In front of me I have an HTML5 document in a text editor. Uh, you can make use of any text editor to do JavaScript programming. I would recommend that you do have an editor that has syntax highlighting which is the nice colors that you see here as well as um, line numbering this will make quite a difference in your in your programming right to add some JavaScript into our document we will add a script tag into our head section of our document as well as a little bit of JavaScript. So this line of JavaScript that you see here is quite a famous one. Uh, the alert statement is actually a function and its job is to pop up a little pop-up box with a message inside of it. Um, functions in JavaScript are normally indicated by using round brackets. So the name of the function in this case is called alert and we are sending an argument to this function or a parameter to this function with some text inside of it. That text should appear in a pop-up box. Right, so let's open up a web browser and open up a file. I'm going to open up first.html which is the name of the HTML file I was editing. And there you can see a pop-up box appears with the text hello all inside of it. Notice that none of the other content on the page is loaded. But once I press the OK button, the rest of the content loads. It says inserting JavaScript. If we go back to the code, you'll see the reason for this is that the script tags were before the heading in the body section. And that is why the JavaScript executed before the heading executed. As soon as I pressed OK, then the rest of the document loaded. This is one of the disadvantages in using the alert statement. The alert statement actually pauses the rest of the loading of the page. And you have to press OK before it will continue. One way to get around this is to move the JavaScript out of the head section and paste it in the body section below the rest of the content on the page. If I now refresh the page you'll notice that the rest of the content has already loaded before the pop-up appears. Another reason why I don't like the alert statement so much is that different browsers behave differently with the alert statement. Um, the actual pop-up box looks different in Google Chrome, it looks different in Firefox, it looks different in Internet Explorer. And normally we would like to have some consistency in the way our websites look. But the alert is quite useful for debugging and for displaying um, error messages. So I would use it just for development purposes. Another way of inserting JavaScript into our document is to use the SRC attribute inside of the script tag. The SRC attribute references an external file. Then we can remove this code from our HTML document. So all we have in the HTML document should be HTML. This is the best way of coding, is keeping the different layers of the website separate from each other. Normally we have three main layers in our website. We have the structural layer, which you see in front of me, it's the HTML. We then have the presentation layer, which is our CSS. And then we have the JavaScript layer, which is our functional layer. I'm going to insert the alert statement in here. We'll use a different message this time just to prove that it is working. The name of this file is first.js and I've referenced the exact same file in my SRC attribute from the HTML file. So that's the source. It's reading the source of the JavaScript from that external file. 
let's run it now and see what happens and there you can see our message appears with the word external file inside of it pressing OK closes the document and then the rest of the page loads again and that ends the very first lesson of JavaScript how to insert JavaScript into your document